Friends, welcome to the Real Facts channel. Today, I want to share with you a story that will make you think. It concerns all of us, and sooner or later, we will come to such situations in our own life and we will understand this elderly man. Watch the video till the end. It will be very interesting. Before you start, I would like to remind you to visit our channel where you will find many interesting, amazing, and touching stories after watching this video. The story happened in Germany. After long, happy years of marriage, this man understood that his life was coming to an end. He was 84 years old, and he lost his beloved wife. She left him after many years of struggling with a disease. His five children immediately left everything and came home to say goodbye to their mother. After that, they spent some time in conversations and memories of the past days of their happy life together. Then his children went back to their lives one by one. Most of his children lived very far away from him. Surely the days became much longer for him now. Time passed. The first Christmas without his beloved wife came. He had five children, but only two of them were able to come. The man was looking forward to this day. The whole family phoned and chatted using a video call. The daughter gave him a laptop and so he was able to communicate with his children. It was not at all like it was a long time ago. In those days, the house was full of children's noise and his beloved wife was preparing a Christmas dinner. Although his loneliness was new for him, the man was happy to see all his children and grandchildren calling him their grandfather on video. But when he closed his laptop, the cruel reality came to him again. He was alone. Now it seemed that the only goal in life was to live until the new year. So the days passed until his birthday came. He got many presents. All his relatives called him to wish him a happy birthday. But that day, there was no one in the house except him. It became difficult to live with such a feeling of loneliness. Everyone was busy with their own business and lives. Days passed. Everything made him sad. Christmas came again. He got calls again, and again the whole family talked on the internet. The first day of the new year also passed. He lost his hope of bringing the family back together at home. What could he do? The man, tired of unsuccessful attempts to gather his family in his home, did not come up with anything better than to write an invitation for next Christmas. He even paid a specialist for the services, and the postman promised to notify everyone who should receive the invitation. The elderly man had already planned everything with the smallest details. He told the postman why it was so important that each person receive their invitation, because he had invited them many times, but no one came. Tom, the postman, was very pleased that the elderly man had asked him to do this, but still he was very upset when it turned out that the old man had chosen his own funeral as the subject of the letter. He did not understand what the man's plan was, but he had already agreed to do it. There were three days before Christmas. The letters were sent. One by one, his children received them. The news shocked them. Their father passed away. Someone got this news at work. Someone was in a store at the time. Someone was in a beauty salon. But gradually, everyone found out the news. It was like an electric shock to all of them. They immediately contacted each other, took leave from work, and canceled their plans for Christmas. Their loss was irreparable. It was their father, and he passed away. They remembered the time when they were together on the holidays. They were so sorry that they could not have been with their father in his last days. So all the children went to say their last goodbye to their father. They met at their old home where they lived until everyone had their own family. Entering the house, the first thing they saw was a huge table. No one understood what was happening. Their grief quickly gave way to surprise. Everyone was at a loss. They expected to see a lot of people inside, or at least some relatives, but nothing of the kind. In the center, there was a large table. Everything was beautifully decorated as if someone was waiting for a very important person. Everyone looked at it in surprise. Suddenly, their elderly father entered. Welcome, he told them with a smile. They ran to him and hugged him. The old man made it clear that this was the only way to get them to come, so he managed to gather the whole family at his home. The house finally came to life, and the children and grandchildren spent all the holidays with their grandfather. Later, the old man moved to one of his son's houses where his grandchildren did not let him get bored. This story was popular several years ago in Europe, but as many argue, it was based on a real case that happened in Germany. This story carries a very important message. 
you need to visit your parents more often and decorate their lives with your presence. After all, they only need to see you more often. We will always be their children. There is no excuse for not being near them. That is all for today, friends. If you enjoyed the video, then click like and be sure to share this story with your friends and family. See you soon. Bye.